there everybody, my name is Bloomer Brown and welcome to episode 6 of Seasons at Oakfield Farm for FS19. And yeah, it is a nice and bright uh, spring morning out there, uh, which is something of relief because it made quite a bit of rain last night uh, after finishing up and coming inside. Uh, the rain got heavier and heavier as the evening went on and was really pouring down uh, by about 9 o'clock last night. Uh, so yeah, glad we didn't kind of persist uh, with uh, a little bit of work last night. Uh, so yes, looking much brighter and much better today. And I have to say that the foliage is really coming in pretty thickly on the trees. And yeah, I have to say uh, that having played a little bit on Ballymoon recently uh, with this version of Seasons for uh, FS17, it is a really nice touch uh, to actually see what they mean about the more gradual transitions and the more gradual growth on the trees. Uh, so yes, uh, today I think is forecast to be a slightly better day than yesterday was. And disturbingly enough, uh, my dog food bowl is still full and it does appear that the dog has gone missing. Um, so it may be the case that this is not an ideal position for the dog kennel. Uh, perhaps somewhere over here or even around the backyard would have been a better placement for it. Uh, because in this case, I think he's basically glitched into the wall and cannot get back out. Um, anyway, uh, it is a bright morning and uh, yeah, things are actually looking pretty well. Uh, let's bring up all of the information here so yeah uh, air temperature is about four degrees it is only half six in the morning and yeah still late spring uh, the cows appear to be out uh, bright and early grazing they have woken of course with the rising sun uh, so yes uh, cattle time to take a look at how they are doing and yeah their power food is down their health is up um, I may let the total mix ration run out. I am going to make a mix, but I think I'm going to let it run out and see if they go outside and get a little bit of grazing or not. Uh, because the grass should be pretty well grown at this stage. Uh, so let's get in and take a look at the Holsteins. Um, so they're all doing pretty well. Uh, so 511 kilos. I'm guessing that's because she is expecting a calf. Uh, 510 kilos. Her health is up to 84. Good. Um... See, I think it's still only the three cows that are expecting a calf. Uh, the water is a little bit low as well, and cleanliness has obviously come down overnight. So let's get ourselves across and uh, get a tractor picked up. Uh, well, I suppose the John Deere, because it is the only tractor with a front loader attached to it. Uh, so let's get ourselves hooked onto the bucket and get the... Uh, feeding area cleaned out as usual um, not a huge amount in there it's only a quick little job uh, that won't really take a lot of time uh, but it is worth doing in order to keep our health up uh, so just gonna line ourselves up here And just another tiny bit, and we're going to get this unloaded. Uh, the RAF are clearly flying maneuvers again uh, over the fields of Oakfield. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they are the RAF. Uh, it may be some uh, piloting club or something like that. Not entirely sure. Would the RAF be flying and operating planes like that? Uh, for training purposes, I really don't know. Uh, so yes, uh, should we see about a bit of water? I think we'll see about a little bit of water as well. So yeah, cattle, as far as I'm concerned, are taken care of for this morning. May check in on them later on just to make sure they're not losing health or anything like that. Uh, so let's get ourselves swung around and out of here again. Uh, there is still some water left in the joskin and we're just going to leave that sitting there. And I think it's probably time we head up. Uh, to the crop fields and get uh, a look at them in person and see what's actually happening up there. And as you can see, our uh, 
oats have started to grow uh, or at least are showing visible signs they had germinated yesterday uh, but today yeah they do seem to be on the uh, first or kind of second stage of growing so it's a case that yeah they should accept a tram line i think uh, let's actually just roll over a tiny tiny little portion of it here and see if it crushes under our wheels uh, which it doesn't um, but yeah it's a case that i think I will end up doing a little bit of fertilizer spraying today uh, just to give them a boost in particular this field uh, just because we did have some patchy germination though to be honest uh, the patches aren't all that bad uh, considering the size of the field uh, so let me just run over and try and find one of those patches uh, or at least the biggest patch and yeah, it kind of looks like a substantial patch, but, you know, really walking into it, um, you know, it's it's not that bad. Um, you know, this is the biggest patch uh, that failed to germinate. And, you know, this is a pretty substantial field, all told. So it's a case that we're not going to be uh, ending up losing a whole lot of crops out of the field. Uh, so, yeah, I may get an application of fertilizer applied here today and also across the way, um, depending on how much uh, we have left in stock. Um, we may have to buy a little bit of it in. Uh, just to get them done but yet that is already on second stage fertilization and we may try to go for a third uh, but it would be important to bring up the fertilization on that so yeah I'm gonna see what's left in the uh, fertilizer spreader back at the yard and uh, we may purchase another IBC and get it up here and yeah basically start a, a little bit of fertilizing so just gonna get ourselves hooked on to the sprayer and uh, also bring back up my hood and it turns out that we have only 28% left in this which is yeah not probably going to be enough to do anything much with yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drive it to the shop and um, you know refill on fertilizer down there uh, so fertilizer tank is 3200 I think we were paying more for that no it was the fact that we were buying two of them uh, 2,800, what's the volume? Uh, so that's 2,000 liters. That's 3,000 liters and a little bit cheaper. Okay, uh, so that's 3,000 liters and it's selling uh, for less than the other one, uh, which is probably why I bought the herbicide uh, from this as well. These are modded ones. I'm not entirely sure uh, what mod they come as part of. Uh, but yeah, they are a much, much cheaper option. That is insane. Uh, 2,400 for the herbicide, 2,500, and it, you're getting a hell of a lot more. Uh, it's 2,800, and here it's 3,000 for only 2,000 liters. That's a hell of a lot cheaper. I'm definitely going to capitalize on that. And uh, yeah, it makes me feel really, really rather stupid uh, for not checking on the uh, different brands of fertilizer that there were. Um, yeah, because you know, I'm assuming they will pretty much do the same thing. Uh, so yeah, well, I'm just going to buy two of these and uh, end up saving myself a packet of money. And if there is a fertilizing contract somewhere else during the day, uh, yeah, I may end up taking it uh, at those prices. Uh, but first, we are going to take care of our own fields. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to transport this down to... Uh, the shop and get it loaded up that way rather than messing about with trailers and trying to load those pallets because yeah I do know they are 3,000 liters so they are much much heavier than the standard pallets and yeah getting a notification about a great demand at the stable f at the stables for eggs uh, unfortunately eggs is not something that our cattle are capable of producing and uh, yeah if they do I would be really rather worried about them yeah still noticing uh, incidentally that the fields that we haven't touched are still untouched by the AI uh, field number 36 on our left here uh, is one that we completed as part of a contract 
but yeah the field on the other side of the road is yeah which field i do not know what it is but yeah it doesn't seem like the ai farmers have done anything with it now i do remember that was a bug when fs19 first released um and perhaps there's something in seasons that has reactivated that I am not entirely sure. Uh, I think after recording this episode, I'm going to go and check to make sure that everything is fully updated because, yeah, it doesn't really look great if all of the fields are not planted. And, yeah, I mean, we are kind of depending on uh, a little bit of harvesting later in the season, and it's already the pretty much final day of spring is it final no tomorrow is going to be the final day of spring uh so yeah if the ai farmers don't get their act together uh it's going to be a case that uh yeah we're not going to have any harvesting contracts at all uh bar the ones uh bar the fields that we have actually sown out uh which would be a little bit annoying because yeah i'm really relying on that for a little bit of income this season and so pulling into the field, it's time to get ourselves unfolded and do another little bit of time lapse work as we start uh, spreading out some fertilizer on this field, which is, you know, going to bring in, which should hopefully bring in, you know, a decent amount of cash this year. Uh, so let's set our cruise control down a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how fast this machine can run. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start cruising down along the field. And when I get myself lined up, uh, we can basically switch on the sprayer, which runs at a full 12 kilometers per hour. Uh, yeah, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to get a handle on what I am covering. And yeah, as I say, the spreading width on this is absolutely fantastic and it's an excellent piece of equipment to have on the firm starting off so yeah i'm gonna just uh breeze through this and uh catch up with you when i am done and there we go i think we've gotten pretty decent coverage on this field uh there may be a small patch that we've missed here and there and it's quite a good thing that uh uh, the germinated crops, at least, uh, do not seem to be subject to crop destruction. I am going to actually check that crop destruction uh, is actually switched on, which it is. And periodic plowing seems to be off for some reason, uh, though I think it should be on by default. Uh, the one I did install seasons it seemed to switch it off I'm going to leave it on uh, just for now and yeah we've used uh, a little bit less than half actually uh, about 40% of the uh, spray at this stage so what I think I'm gonna do is head into uh, the field across the way here and uh, get that sprayed out and uh, see just how much we end up having left and we may have enough uh, in what we've purchased today uh, to be able to spray out the grass field as well uh, now this should be the final application of fertilizer on this field since it is already up to stage two and i am actually going to head up to this far corner of the field here to start spraying out because there is slightly there is a slightly awkward shape to this field and i think starting in that rather awkward little corner over here uh, is probably the best idea uh, get it out of the way first uh, so yeah, as i say it is pretty lucky that uh, germinated crops as I say don't seem to respond to crop destruction uh, because yeah, I got hopelessly lost on that field a couple of times and uh, yeah I would have really made a mess of the field uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get myself set up in here and get this spread out and possibly pick up the rest of the IBC and uh, go out and give the grass field a coating as well just to kind of boost yield on that yeah a couple of little patches missed here and there but that is actually us up onto uh you know third stage fertilization on field number one and i think barring a massive outbreak of weeds uh, that we will need to remedy uh, i think uh, yeah, we should be pretty much golden on that field. Uh, let's see where there are weeds. Uh, there are quite a few weeds sprouting on uh, field 36 and also on field 38. 
Uh, which means that the farmer must have taken care of that. Did we sow field 38? I, oh, I honestly can't remember if we did or not. I think we may have cultivated it. Um, but certainly we didn't plant it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go down to the shop and get the remainder of that IBC picked up and perhaps give a coat to field number three. Uh, there is another small grass field that we have down here and there's also the animal pastures which you know I don't think will actually uh, end up being able to uh, accept fertilizer um, yeah they don't even show up as need plowing so yeah it's case that they're not actually official fields uh, so yeah uh, they will not end up accepting fertilizer uh, so yeah down to the shop I go to get the last of that fertilizer picked up and uh, yeah, we can uh, get on with spraying out the grass field. And so back from the shop, it is time to take out uh, this final field, which is actually a pretty small field. Um, you know, when compared with the other two fields that we have done, um, not entirely sure uh, how many coats we will manage to get before this actually grows. Uh, so yeah, that's 67%. Uh, so I'm guessing uh, either tomorrow or the day after this should uh, be pretty much ready to cut uh, in fact I could probably mow it now uh, because it is uh, two-thirds grown uh, but I'd rather get a coat of fertilizer on and uh, basically wait uh, until uh, it's fully grown before I harvest it uh, possibly going to end up silaging this and we may make hay out of the other two small fields not entirely sure yet but hey I'll figure it out as I go along and I don't think I've actually left myself enough room data on that tree have I uh, I may have yeah, just only just uh, so yes on we go and we'll get this uh, knocked out in no time I should say and I'm actually gonna stop right there because I'm not seeing yeah okay it doesn't appear that the fertilizer is actually going to take on this particular field uh, so yeah it looks like we're going to abandon that after all uh, we probably should have sprayed a little bit of fertilizer on it earlier uh, perhaps yesterday uh, not to worry I think there is a contract uh, for fertilizing um, so yeah we've got a lot of sewing contracts and I think it's a case that yeah a lot of these guys are not going to end up taking care of their own fields uh so yeah we have got field 38 here uh, that is looking for soybeans does soybeans go into a normal header so yeah uh, just a quick check uh because soybeans is not something that i usually end up dealing with and i just wanted to check whether or not it is a corn header or a grain header and as it turns out it is a grain header uh, the reason I am being so picky about that is because of course we have a grain header and unless there is a fix for this bug with or what I'm thinking is a bug uh, with the other farmers I want to make sure that there that any fields I am sowing out are going to be fields uh, that I'm going to be able to harvest later in the year for some extra money uh, so uh, bringing the spreader back um, may actually take a look at what field that sewing was on so that's field number 38 okay field number 38 which is this uh, large field up above the village here and uh, yeah we have a contract to sow out soybeans let's actually take a look and see how much seed we have left in stock I'm not sure if there's anything left in uh, the sore hmm. I think we actually need to connect to a tractor we can't scan this machine can we uh, seed yeah 881 a uh, very useful this so the multi-tool can be used on that um, I just want to see if I need to actually get another pallet in uh, before we go up to do that or not uh, there's three pallets here I think there's a thousand in each of these in two of them anyway Yes, yeah, so there's a thousand, so two thousand and four hundred. Yes, yeah, so we should have well over three thousand. Yeah, that should be enough uh, to cover field thirty-eight. I'm guessing, and 
yeah for now I'm gonna pull this uh, just in might as well just park it up around the corner here uh, I will probably try and take out a spreading contract uh, with a little bit of fertilizer that we have left in that well actually a lot of fertilizer we have still 61% of a tank there uh, so for the sewing uh, yeah I think I am going to go uh, with the case uh, rather than taking that machine off and there we go finally refilled and uh, time to get ourselves down to the field and get it planted out with soybeans uh, just gonna actually uh, set up for soybeans uh, before we do get down there because yeah it wouldn't be unlike me to uh, accidentally start sowing out the wrong crop uh, so yeah gonna swing down there and get that contract taken care of and another contract complete let's see if we can get our ridge marker uh, pulled in and uh, go into the contracting uh, because I don't really want to waste any more seed and we are just going to complete that and another satisfied customer uh, so field 36 is still looking for a coat of fertilizer and it is valued at quite a high price and since we have discovered uh, that there is some slightly cheaper fertilizer available uh, I think we may end up just accepting that from Mason Newton as well uh, no more sewing contracts available at the moment uh, though if we have any fertilizer left over it might be worth heading up to field 17 and getting that taken out as well uh, so time to get off the neighbor's land and uh, head down to head back to the main farm and get ourselves loaded up uh, see just how much fertilizer we have left and uh, yeah perhaps pick up another bit if we need it and yeah just on the way down I did have a quick peek on the cattle and yeah it turns out that they actually are going to need some power food uh, because their condition has dropped a four percent and they're pretty much back where we started with them uh, so it's a case that uh, before I get anything else done uh, I'm gonna take the uh, sprayer off the John Deere and uh, yeah basically get them a, a little bit of total mixed ration uh, so as I say, it was just an experiment to see whether or not uh, things would work like this. Uh, but yeah, clearly they don't. So it's a case that we need to get them a little bit of TMR uh, just to keep their condition up. Uh, so let's hitch on to uh, the mixer wagon and get a little bit of a mix done. I think there might actually be a small bit left in this. Uh, there is indeed uh, a measly couple of liters but hey it'll uh, still fit into the trough and yeah we can make a mix from scratch and get the cattle fed and yeah two bales of silage and a bale hey and we have some total mixed rations so let's get this uh, down to the cattle and uh, give them a little bit of feed to try and bring their health back up um, now it is a case that yeah if you do get a decrease in health it does decrease very quickly and takes a long time to come back up uh, so yeah it took us uh, most of the spring actually to get them up to 84 percent health uh, so yeah it's gonna be a case that uh, yeah I think they're gonna be suffering for a little while uh, because of that mistake uh, so yeah filling in the power food uh, the cleanliness is at 84 and their health is yeah at 80 percent uh, have they lost any weight no i think they've actually gained a little bit of weight uh, even though they haven't had everything that they wanted uh, so yeah still a little bit of grass pouring in and we may end up getting a couple of bales of straw as i say because i think it might actually be affecting their uh, health a little bit as well because they don't actually have any bedding not entirely sure but as I say because seasons uh, does allow for uh, you know slurry as well as silage uh, it's a case that 
uh, it, it basically it's slurry or manure uh, if you start producing manure you're not going to be producing any slurry so yeah that's an interesting thing and something I must actually look into properly anyway uh, yeah we've still got a little bit of TMR left in this and yeah I think you know just for convenience sake I'm actually gonna drop that in there and I think we have a gate to close up over this side uh, mostly just for completeness it's not as though the cattle will actually escape but hey I like to do these kinds of things uh, so yeah happy cows fed uh, once again uh, let's actually check on their water yeah they're okay for the moment and we'll probably give them a little bit of a clean out again this evening yeah, so time to jump back onto that fertilizing contract. And yeah, we're back up to 14,000 euros. But of course, we do still have an absolutely enormous loan that we need to get paid off. Uh, so it's a case that, yeah, as many contracts as we can possibly take, uh, we are going to be taking them. Uh, so let's undrop that bail grab off there. Uh, we can kind of stow the front loader a little bit and yeah i'm gonna make sure that we have a little bit of spray in that sprayer uh i mean we could pick up another pallet if we need to uh, i'm not overly concerned since discovering we can get it a lot cheaper uh, from a different supplier and i'm sure the quality of fertilizer is just the same so uh, let's get hitched on and that's 61% that should be enough uh, to get that field covered uh, just remind myself what field it actually is field number 36 uh, for our good friend Mr. Mason Newton so anyway on with a little bit of spraying and of course finishing off that contract for Mason Newton I decided with the price of fertilizer being what it is uh, to take on a couple of other fertilizing contracts here and there around the map uh, as you can no doubt tell from our much improved bank balance. And so once again with the sun nearing the horizon over the fields of Oakfield, uh, I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to say once again, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. You have been watching Bloomer Brown on YouTube and I will see you next time.